Hi Taurus, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Taurus, this is your love reading starting today on the 14th, 13th, sorry, 13th of April. Um, and just for the very near future is what I'm asking for. I haven't put an end date to it. Um, I'm incorporating the today's date, so number 13, and I couldn't stay away from the month either because through like all through of April we have a love month really because the, the month of April is number four which is all about the heart center is all about the foundation um, foundation around the heart uh, matters of the heart and then we have number 13 if you add up number one with number three we have yet number four so there's a strong foundation here of the heart going into your love reading so I love that so let's see specifically what's going on for you Taurus for the very near future for your love story. Let's see what's going to come out here. And if you don't like the shuffle, just please fast forward. I'm using the Archangel uh, Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue. time today I feel so there might be something a hold up or something that you're waiting on in terms of your love but be patient because I see you it's coming and it's looking gorgeous I'd rather take my time with the cards and have the perfect card fall out than shuffle really fast. But I guess we could do fast and the perfect card anyway. I guess that was like 20 cards or something. So I'm going to put that back. What? And two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I put it back once, but not twice. I've learned. Wow. So. <laughs> it's like a little rainbow situation here, which is beautiful. So let's begin with this first card that really popped out. That was like the basis of everything. And I just love it. I just need to read uh, the the program reverses 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 the images on the cars, and it was a very kind soul that explained to me how how I was gonna like unreverse it, um, and I knew I know how to do that. It's just that when I reverse it to the normal standard, uh, other things get messy. So I'm just gonna keep it in for now. So this is a Knight of Raphael, and it says uh, romantic, dramatic, poetic, and introspective underneath it. And on the bottom it says committed romantic relationships, being swept off of your feet, um, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So matters of the heart, as I started to say, it really is becoming a reality for you now. So depending on where, whether you're single in a separated situation or in a committed relationship, let's see where this is going. But I feel like for this very first card anyway, it could, be for, it could mean for all three of you guys, um, not all three of you people, but all the three situations. Because if you're single, I feel like this is your person coming in. And I've asked for it for the very near future. Um, so for the near future, I feel like you if you're single, you're really looking to meet somebody. And what has come in so strongly lately is that we're we're being brought back with our soul tribe or soul family, call it what you will. It's like we've decided before coming into uh, Earth that we were going to meet this time around. But it's like, but we needed to get to a certain, you need to have a certain frequency. You need to have a certain vibration in order for you to... Um, 
to be in a in alignment with the person that you seek right you can't you need to be in alignment with the things you want to attract and there's it's no difference with your love story there's no difference with your with the topic of love but that's the tricky part that some people really you really need to take your time before you really find your true soulmate because it's I guess you could be like in in you need to be in a certain position to attract a car to attract a house to attract you know but at the end of the day you could be a bit of a like you could be somewhat sloppy like you could be somewhat off in your vibration you could be somewhat lower or denser in your vibration and still by pure will you could um manage to attract your person sorry your car and even though you're a bit in like the lower vibrations your car will be fine because it's just a you know it's a piece of metal so it's like it's not the end of the day but you will notice if you if you've attracted the person that like by pure will because you just want a person so bad in your life uh and you're not up to par with it like you're not really in a stable like higher frequency uh, you're gonna feel that eventually or very soon when you're not on your a game uh but your dominant vibration shines through or vice versa um it is not going to be a beautiful relationship and, and you're going to notice that. So if you have felt like it's been taking some time to really get to this person, this person of your dreams, this soulmate person, your person to come in, it's because it's like you need to get to that higher vibrational place love-wise before you can attract the right partner for you. And you want to do that. To the, for the price of love, you want to do that. You want to raise your vibration so that you can attract only what's really good for you, right? And this looks really good for you and you look like you're in the right place. Um, if you're separated, I feel like there you needed to go back because this guy, he's, he's riding around with the phoenix. There's a phoenix rising on his flag here. And in the, in the background, there's two beautiful white birds um so it's like we've gone from phoenix rising situation into this beautiful uh two beautiful white birds coming together um so so they needed the time before you could move into that higher realm um but i'm feeling like you're doing it now uh so if you were in a separated situation like you needed to separate it was you were in need of this phoenix rising situation first like you needed to elevate yourself you needed to come to a higher place for then that you could meet again and i feel like the timing uh, timing and the time of that is now and if you're in a committed relationship there's been something that has been st struggling for you of the bigger magnitude I, of course we can judge what is big and what is small but that because that's going to be different for different people but i feel like it's not just you know they forgot to buy milk or you forgot to buy milk or something like that. it this is greater um so there's been a conflict but i feel like there's triumph in this car there's like we've su we succeeded we're doing a little we're doing a little victory run here um and like you you prevail this way is that what you say you you lasted like you um you did your phoenix rising situation and you come out of it a better couple uh for it you become stronger for it okay so moving on there is a person coming in so there's if you're single or separated there is a person coming in and they're sweeping you off of your feet there's something with um the solar plexus chakra is being um around that it's all about uh it's all about self-worth self like uh how you trust yourself your your independence your um, um what is that called self i've lost the word excuse me you really can rely on yourself when you really feel confident confident um when you it's, it's something about feeling confident 
needing to race to that place in order for you to like you need to feel worthy and confident and balanced and independent and you want to get to all of those places if you're a really dependent person if you feel like you are so in need of everything and you meet this person it's going to be such a codependent relationship and you do not want that and now we've come to this place where you really have reached higher and so you mended all of that you've healed all of that and that's the place where you want to come from when you now attract your person it's so beautiful that the ne the first card next to this card is also the green border which speaks about the whole love the total um the romantic type of love is i've chosen pink today because the romantic type of love is uh pictured as pink for me anyway um and the whole love the totality of you uh, like with the connection between your inner being, the connection with you and and source, however you want to, I sorry, however you want to, whatever you want to call it, it's still like describing the whole love, the total love, and so it's beautiful that this is the, the description first, and then this is the first card out after it, and it's nine of Raphael, um, so nine speaks about the ending of something, so you're coming out of either being the ending of being single, the ending of being separated, or the ending of this struggle in a committed relationship, that is done. It has become whole. Um, can you see that? And so, and so with um, Raphael there, it speaks a lot about healing, that something has been healed. So whether that is you being single and you've healed a lot of things within you and now you're ready for this person, this person is going to come in to sweep your feet, to sweep your feet off. That's how strong they are. Uh, and this is uh, the magical lamp, like the genie in the bottle situation. And for me, this looks like a little fairy. It's almost like, it's almost like you bring the fairy out to ask the fairy for a gift or to ask the fairy for a wish. And I love that. It's like you're at this stage now where you've started to become this magician that you really truly can ask for anything you want and you, and you will start to receive it because you and of course you you attract on any level so when people say law of attraction doesn't work for me they don't understand law of attraction period because law of attraction works all the time law of attraction is based on a law that is based on it's not based on law it is a law that is based on attraction and so if you're in the lower realms like if you feel like i said if you feel dependent if you feel not worthy if you feel lost if you feel uh like you can't trust yourself or trust the guidance you get or anything like that you can still attract somebody law of attraction still works but the person you will attract like i said before he will just enhance the feeling of dependency will enhance the feeling of you're not able to trust or you know whatever whatever how's that is going to play out you've now reached higher you're in this higher, gorgeous position. And so now when you're asking for whatever it is that you're asking for, that is now in alignment with your higher energy, you're going to say law of attraction is really working for me now. Cause, but it's not like it's not working before. It's just that now you're attracting things you want, it, which is in alignment with the wishes that you have. And you're starting to be able to really control. You're controlling the genie in the bottle. You're controlling the, the, the bottle itself like you under you understand this now uh on the bottom it says make a wish dreams become reality a joyful time of life and then there's a um, a beautiful dog uh lying here on the beach and the dog for me just represents friendship and loyalty and um just the the man's best friend uh li like this gorgeous warm feeling like it's a representation of the relationship itself and i feel like taurus you've been wanting somebody that you really can be friends with maybe even friend, friends with first like you're building the relationship off of a friendship and so that you really can share things with each other it's like your best friend the second something happens you want to run to them and tell them about it or you have this innate feeling how you just want to pour everything out of you and just tell your best friend like, I feel like that is a strong wish that you you really want to have that partner 
that you can share things with, that you naturally want to share things with and that they naturally want to share things with you. Um, so maybe if you're in a committed relationship, that ha has been a bit of a struggle for you. But coming into the higher realms and you, and you still are like glue, like if you're still feeling this is your person and you're coming into this higher place, you will start to see those um, gifts or presents or however I should call it. You will start to see that version of them. If you, let's just say this, because if you think that if you're a bit lower, like on your inner energy level, if you're a bit lower in your vibration and you're um, judging your relationship based off of that lower vibration, it's just not fair to you and not fair to them because you're attracting things now from a lower standpoint. There's been a, I've come in heavily into this law of attraction thing here today. So there might be something to this. Um, obviously, or I wouldn't be inspired to go there. But um, I, I want you to feel like this is your love story, but how to, how to make it work, how to get what you want, how to stay and, and receive what you want, even though if you're in an already committed relationship, I just want to say that some people think that immediately, immediately if it feels wrong, um, you need to end it because you're just not the same person. They're not giving you what you want, uh, blah, blah, blah. But instead, before sort of being so quick to judge, to, to raise your vibration as much as you can, to focus on you and to connect in with you, um, and then see if you still feel as strong pull, like if you feel... Um, this is my person. I want to stay with this person, but there's a lack of communication here. I can't, I can't freaking talk to my person. I want them to, to talk more to me. Um, if you're raising your vibration and you feel, and you feel like you're not then being pulled away, cause that's a sign as well. Like if you're raising your vibration, if you're really doing a good job at, at tapping into yourself and really being in alignment with your inner being, being in a, in a connection with your inner truth, if you will, um, and that truth puts you on a higher and higher frequency, not frequency, frequency, higher and higher vibration. And you feel a pull away. Like, can you feel a pull away? Push away. <laughs> I don't know. You just feel like you're, you're not pulled together anymore, but rather a, it becomes more and more distant. Maybe you're led into conflicts. Maybe, maybe there's some things that wants to show you then Okay, if you if you race to the bar to your own bar, they just didn't come along. That is sort of showing you you're now gravitating away from each other, and you were not supposed to continue. But if you still feel that glue, if you feel that pull to stay with this person, if you love this person, and you just know it's your person, uh, wait until you've raised your own vibration, and you will see a different side to your person. You will start to attract things out of your person that you maybe you haven't ever seen before. But there's something about an end. There's an end to something as to how it has been before, whether you're single, separated, or in a committed relationship. And we're moving on now into something gorgeous. You're becoming somewhere like creating whatever, what, what, what you purely want. And it's a total love and it's a whole love. So it's beautiful what's happening for you right now. And then we step into this gorgeous, I mean, I guess ace is the highest type of love, but four of Ariel. So four is, we have a strong foundation of four here today. We have, with this card now, we have three fours. So we have the, today's, today's date um, and the month and this card. So we have a four for four situation. We have recently gone through a portal of four for four. So you might have already raised your vibration enough or you might have put yourself in a better position because you you just have started to meditate or you started to really take care of yourself or whatever you've done there's something about around this four of hearts so the four talks about um um four of heart four of ariel the heart the four jesus the four speaks about the heart center <laughs> sorry Four speaks about the heart center. It speaks about the foundation. Uh, Ariel is my love angel. So this is a love of the heart. Like it's the heart matter of love. 
um, four of love, four of Ariel. And it's the pink border. It's the pink border. So it, it is the romantic type of love. It's not just a whole love, not just. It, it, that is the thing to even attract this thing. But it's beautiful to know that it is a romantic type of love that is coming in. And it's something about building a foundation together, building a strong, strong foundation together and becoming sort of like a, becoming a team, becoming a powerhouse. If you're, if you're um, separated, let's go there first. If you're separated, I feel like this time around, it's going to be such a different story for you guys because it's such a different vibration that both you and that person comes back in, in, now it comes back, but like comes together with you in now. It's so different. Um, if you're single, this is the type of relationship that you've been wanting and that you've been wanting to build a foundation around, not just a, let's see how it goes. You just immediately feel like this is where you want to stay. You want to buy a house with them. You want to build a family with them or however, however strong foundation looks to you. Don't, don't let my words like discourage your, no, that's not what I want. Like, do I have to have kids now? No, you don't. I'm just trying to say, um, what, what I would consider to be a strong foundation. That's like family life and home and, and security. And you really rely on each other. So it's, it's a really gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy here. And if you're in a, in a committed relationship, I feel like this is because you're coming out of something. So you're building something new. There's a new foundation being laid as we speak that will lead to so much. And this is, this is for you guys that really feel, feel drawn to each other that like feel, feels this is strong and this is steady. And I want to stay here. You're going to lay a new foundation of some sorts, like almost like you're rebooting your whole life for some reason. Okay. And then we have this gorgeous, gorgeous card, <sighs> new beginnings, and it's 20s, it's 20s, so just mainly the year of 20 is your year right now, like 2020, and it's this new, new beginnings, and on the bottom is this starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So it's so much talking about how this new situation is going to come about no matter what situ situation you're in relationship wise right now, there is a new beginning. And with this number 20, I, I always see like a 2.0 version. So there's something about having an upgrade being made. And this came through so clearly for the Aries. So, and I think that was in the extended. Was it? I can't remember now. I think it was in the extended. If not, you would, um, there might be a, there might be a connection there to the Aries. Uh, but I saw this before I've seen this as a family, like a family of four and how they are so committed to each other, like a strong family tie there. But, and the Aries reading came through as, and, and now it's like, I now want to continue on that story because it feels so strongly for everybody. It's like a collective thing right now that there are so many soul families coming back together. There are so many soul partners coming back together because we have now reached that high vibration. We've reached into more of the love vibration rather than the let's see how it goes or let or I'm this is trial and error. This is, you know, I'm just still looking for what I really want in a relationship and all of that. But this is sort of when you've reached the place where you know who you are and you know what you want. Now, this almost becomes like a, there's like a divine opening in heaven and they're like coming in. It's almost like these guys are on the other side, like in another frequency, in another dimension. And it's like this angel comes in to say, hey guys, they're ready now here on, on planet earth. So if you want to come in, so this is almost showing like this little kid that somebody's waiting on to be pregnant with and this a lady there somebody's person and then somebody's person and some and an, another kid it's like the heavens are opening to say it's green light like you can, you can go now they reach a certain frequency they reach a certain vibration go 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 um and i just love that i love i love the it, it obviously it could represent you as a family unit uh but I love the energy and I feel the continuation of it here. And I feel the soul bond. It's so, 
such a strong emphasis on the soul bond and coming back together. So I feel like this really works here as well. But the main focus here is on starting a new life. You really are starting over, starting fresh. Excuse me. I never seen that before. I keep saying that. So there's definitely an open opening to for me as like in my personal journey, in my personal spiritual journey, I'm seeing more things or or you you guys are ready to see the things that I'm seeing now or have, I'm or I'm just like being shown new things or I'm just discovering these, I don't know. But there's a symbol here that I haven't seen before and it's almost like it could be I mean it's graved it's engraved in stone it's set in stone it's like it was already decided is that gonna are you gonna be able to see that um, it's like a cross it's like two rings and then a cross underneath it so it looks like which is which you know when it depicts like if it's a boy or a girl it's like is it is the cross like a ring and then the cross down is that a girl and then a ring and a di diagonal 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 um is that the boy? I, I don't know. You, you probably know which one it is. Uh, and there's something about it being set in stone. And I, I always say nothing is set in stone. You can change anything you want. But it's like this one's to come in and say, this was set in stone so long ago. Like we've, we've decided this so long ago. And I want to say for some of you guys, this is a person coming in. Um... For some of you guys, this is a person coming in. This is a person. Like I started out saying this reading. It's like you decided before coming to planet Earth that you were going to meet each other. So it's sort of, in that sense, set in stone. But for other people, this is a baby coming in. Uh, maybe for you committed. Maybe I know how fast things can go for sure. Uh, and so it, it could be like you're single and you're just sort of having a confirmation here that it is set in stone that this baby is going to come through for you. They're, they're wanting to come through. They're sort of waiting to, to come to you. Okay? So I just saw that. That's probably not for everybody. So there's some, there's like one camp that is more about they're waiting for the person to come in. And the other one is more, I've seen more things here now. What is that? So this is maybe for, I don't know, just a few, it's not for everybody. There's something about softening. So if you feel struck by this, or if you feel hit, or if you feel, okay, that's me. There's something about you, Taurus. I mean, we, my sister is a Taurus, and I do, like, we joke that she's, the Taurus is, is portrayed as a, strong as a cliff strong as a cliff like there's no moving there's no not in a bad way but like really sure like really sure of themselves you're you're uh how do you say you know i can't remember how what, what we say in swedish uh but like really solid as a rock solid as a freaking mountain um And for some of you guys, it's like, yes, you've been solid as a rock. You've also been a bit like a stone, like a bit stone cold, like a bit stale. And there's something to you in terms of love, in terms of your love life, in terms of your love story. In all of these mountains and rock solid, uh, stone like, I don't know, the only, it might just come through as light here, but these pastures here are green in the midst of all the gray and black and stone and 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 yes solid but really hard it's green 
So it's it's like some of you guys are softening. It's like maybe you needed to <clears throat> really be strong as a man or really be strong as a woman and take care of everything yourself and be be this person that you can rely on. And it's like something has softened you. For some reason, that needs to come through. Now we have seven of Michael. Seven of Michael. So there's like some sort of we we we've did it we've we've done all we could we've done all all we could and so michael comes in here to say i'm showing you a new path here now this is the way to go we did all we could down that path down that lane we we did that in six days and on the seventh day he rested so like take a pause take a breather and now choose a new path like there's a softer path there's a greener path there's a kinder more loving path there's something waiting for you around the corner that is not so dark and cold and stone and like so heavy on you anymore. It's going to be so way, 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 way easier with number seven. On the bottom it says there is a better course of action available to you. Uh, the rest doesn't really fit. Working alone may not be the best answer. No, because this is a partnership. Uh, three of Ariel. I love that. Three is all about... Uh, creativity, passion, laughter, and this, I usually laugh because this usually comes out for my Geminis, and Geminis is all about having 1,000 things to do at the same time, um, and this sort of describes it because there's a lot of stuff to take care of here, a lot of stuff to do, um, but there is a wheel of fortune there in the back, and there is, you know, three or Ariel is all about the creativity of the that comes that this love comes with the passion that this love comes with the joy that this love comes with and the representation of new things and i think you can show them so much and they can show you so much like there's a the, combin the combination between you and your partner is going to be like an amusement park there's like so it's like you have so many things you have so many things or talents, or there's something that you're really passionate about that you really can share with your partner, and they're like, oh wow, I really want to learn everything about this. Um, and vice versa, you're gonna be like, oh, it's so good, they know everything about that, and they just, you know, they are bringing such an addition to my life. So there's such a beauty in coming together here. And King of Gabriel. And there you sit on your throne. It's like you're ready for them. You've done the work. There's a lot of yin and yang. There's like a completion of the yin and yang. Again, this is something I've never seen in this card. It is, it is really snakes. Like if you look closer at them, because they're laying on the floor there as well. And there's like little symbols. But there, there's really... Mm, I really want to focus. There's snakes here on the bottom. And all through this, th this thing that he's resting against in the back there, these little round thingies there are also like depicted as snakes. But when I look at them today and, and, and from like a bit of a different angle, there's, um, there's a yin and yang feeling. So there's, for me, that just means that there's so much stability here. There's so much balance going on between the two of you. Between the two of you, if you're, if you're single, you're going to probably for the first time meet your person. And you for the first time meet, um, you're, for the first time you feel really balanced between you guys. Like within the relationship, there's a balance going on. And if you're separated, that's what maybe, I mean, there was a huge balance, imbalance before, and you're going to restore that now. You're going to feel a difference there. And also in a committed relationship, I feel like that's what you, you needed to go back and find that place, like find, find the balance between everything. And it's so funny because when I look at it, I see a soccer ball. And I'm not, I'm not going to even pretend that I know what that means because I have no idea what that means. Is there somebody you're meeting that is playing for playing for a soccer team somewhere? Or is it like a... Because there's a there's this soccer ball there at the end of this the throne thing here. And I've never seen that either. There's like a miniature soccer ball. 
I don't know. Maybe that means something to one person out there. There's I, I, that I see all of a sudden. I've never seen that. All of a sudden, I see a soccer ball. That's interesting. <laughs> but it's the it's the um, the main feeling of the card. It's sort of this, but again, but with a higher higher type. It's like coming together in passion, creativity, having lots of fun, and you're feeling really stable in this. It's like you're so secure this time. Taurus is like, okay, I found my home. I found my throne. I can sit on my throne. I'm not threatened by, you know, my partner is not threatened by me sitting here. I'm not threatened by my partner sitting there. There's pure balance. There's balance going on here between you guys. I love this. Okay, I'm going to continue um, the story in the extended. So if you feel drawn to this, if you feel like this resonated, probably the extended will resonate with you as well. If this is where we part ways, then thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back in a week. Take care, guys. Bye.